So there's a scene in Toronto which um, everyone, the cast and I have nicknamed it Grind and that's because everyone's singing Grind the Sword and it's really a pre-execution scene and it's very exciting. We get this very sexy executioner because in my version of Turando, um, she is a warrior princess and in her kingdom, all the positions of power are held by talus maidens. Even the country's executioner is a woman. She whips the crowd into a frenzy and that's when they all go into this head-spinning dance. But in Butterfly, I use dance in a different way. It's less uh, in your face, less energetic like Carmen is. It's more graceful, more discreet. Essentially, I wanted to represent the scene when Pinkerton and Butterfly fall in love and they sort of walk off um, and they start undressing. But we don't see more than that because the next thing we see is two aerialists in the air representing the love scene. Oh, the bullfight in Carmen, that's an exciting moment in the show because um, in the normal opera, there's no bullfight. But then I've always thought, it's Escamillo, it's a Toreador, wouldn't it be fun if you have a Toreador who can actually bullfight? But the bullfight in a show, we need a bull. So what did I do? I got the world champions. They are Wushu uh, performers who do lion dancing, which is very athletic and very show-offy. It's a, it's a great skill, actually. They're seven times world champions. And I managed to persuade their manager and choreographer to work with me to recreate um, the sort of technique that they use in lion dancing. And we've converted it into a ferocious bullfight. The pole dance. Oh, okay, there again. Uh, it was an excuse to bring it in because I wanted to portray um, Carmen um, as a skilled person, not just, you know, another gypsy. So she actually pole dances in the bar, not because she's a pole dancer, but because she thinks it's fun. I have the Abanera, which is the most famous song, I think, um, from Carmen. And Carmen, my Carmen, she's a naughty girl. She gets bored of just sitting and drinking and smoking. So she decides to dance. Now, like in a lot of other bars these days, there was a pole there. So she gets on the pole dance and she shows the girlfriends what she can do on it. Again, you can't really do anything Spanish without a bit of rhythm. So we've got salsa, we've got tango, we've got a lot of sort of Spanish influenced dances and some traditional ones, so the seguidilla also features in it. In Carmen, I created this big police chase um, where she stabs a woman, it's just a scuffle in the bar and then of course the police turn up and they want to arrest her but no gypsy girl is going to be taken in without a fight. So how does she run? Well, I wanted somebody to show on stage how excited it can be to even run in a small space. So I borrow ideas from Kung Fu movies, from action movies, and I use hidden trampolines. So you see Carmen jumping really high, the policeman also jumping from one to the other. It's a lot of adrenaline and it's a lot of fun.